it's a um, outdoor art project which utilizes the arts to um, teach the value of diversity. And we use uh, visual arts, we use uh, written arts, and uh, we combine all that and then put it together in these oversized banners, uh, 16 by 18 feet, that we display in uh, Island Park every year for two months during April and May. And the whole purpose uh, of the organization, their mission, is to, as I said, use the arts to, dis uh, to tell the community uh, of the value of diversity, the importance of uh, standing up against hatred and prejudice, and uh, promoting unity within the community. We originally started out as being, uh, you know, very, I think, Pollyannish and thinking that we could change the world. And we very quickly realized that we can't change the world, but we can change our community. And so uh, we started focusing on the community and uh, using the exhibit to do that. And the more we got into that, we really began to realize that the real opportunity is changing the way that kids think and the way that they interact. Do you never know? She might have cat ears, she might not. Does it matter? What do you guys think about different people? Is it okay to be different? Since we began, we've had 94,000 children participate in their program. Uh, last year alone, we had just shy of 20,000 kids. A bully is when somebody hurts the other person. Uh, we provide free buses to bring the children in. We provide uh, everything that a teacher needs. It's really a turnkey operation. We give them um, lesson plans that are created in partnership with the school district. Uh, we have a workshop every year. Martin Luther King Jr., that is right. We start off with our differences and our similarities, and then we look at how we can condense language because you need to say a lot with just a few words. And if you think about it, it's words that often create the gap between people, but it is only through words that the gap is closed. And so the power lies in your choice of words. And so we look at um, the power of words, which is an ongoing concept in our class anyway. And then <clears throat> we look at how we see, and as, <clears throat> excuse me, Lena's um, quotes suggest, we see not only with our eyes, but with our heart. My quote is, not to see with the heart is equivalent to blindness. I was thinking about the people that I know that I think embrace differences in the world. And um, my friend Becky, inspired me to write it because I think, I mean, I see her constantly trying to, I mean, teaching that to our own kids and doing it. Like at the playgrounds to swing with whoever, whoever is on the swing or whoever is on the opposite side of the seesaw um, and not to judge people by how they appear. And then the name of the painting is so different, the sun illuminates us all equally. I do embracing our differences because we have so many differences here on our campus. We're a very diverse campus. We want them to learn how to be, you know, good, nice citizens and just learn how to, you know, get along with everybody. You know, we don't teach that, you know, that you have to accept other people's beliefs. We don't teach that, you know, we don't want them to change what their beliefs are. But what we want them to do is be respectful of other people. Okay? Um, and then the other thing that we really want them to learn is um, we want them to learn how to be what we call upstanders. Not, not a bystander, but upstanders. Um, there's, there's all kinds of studies about bullying, for example. And most people don't think of bullying as being a diversity issue. But when you really get down to the core of it, it is. It's about you know, one kid or one group of kids looking at another kid as being different. I think that it would be easier to interact with people in general if people could put that aside and just see people for who they are.